guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new build with me. Uh, just a quick disclaimer before we start. You're going to be hearing some noise just because of people upstairs. But first off, we are going to take the foundation, and I'm on a 30 by 30 lot, I think it is. It might be a 25 by 25, actually. Um... I, I want to say it's actually 25 by 25. So I'm going to take, uh, we're going to go, do I want to do 13? Yeah, I'm going to do 13. We are starting 6 back and then extending that by 5. You're going to come down by 1. So we have like a little bit of like an R. And then come across from there, we can do... How do I want to do this? Do you want to do... S I think we'll do eight. We'll go ahead and try and do eight across and see how that comes out. And then... You're going to come down from that eight into another eight. I think is how I'm going to do this. I haven't really thought this floor plan through. Like, I have an idea. And I am following a floor plan, which I'll put in the description. But I haven't fully thought it through. Um, I am so sorry about the noise, you guys. I really, truly am. Um, if we do 10 across, that's going to be too much. Okay. But I'm going to leave this here with 8 across at the front right now. And I think I'm going to... Because the garage door, like, it's 4 across. Right? Yeah, four. Okay. And then if I did that, it wouldn't work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that row that we just did. And I'm going to take the foundation again and extend it by... Uh, I'll extend it by one, but I might have to... That's nine across. So then we'll come down by seven, I think we'll do. And then, actually no, we'll do 8. Come down by 8. And then come across by f 5. Yeah, that should work. Do 5 and then you can come down and connect it. So this is currently the house shape that we have right now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the blank squares that we have here. Just with the foundation, I might end up making a few different changes. But as of right now, this is what we're going to work with. And then I'm going to delete these four out. Just like that. So, okay. That should work. And then if you go into the wall tool, I'm going to take the loom tool and just draw this out here. Because this is going to end up being a garage space. And then I'm just going to take the single wall tool and just go ahead and outline all of what we just did. So just following that along the foundation. I really wish there wasn't so much background noise. I might have to try and like edit that out. But if I don't, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the roof. So then this is what we are currently working with. And then um, I do need to actually add in the porch area so maybe we'll do that right now so if you take the foundation again then you can make the front porch i know typically make it two out i don't want to do three for this no i think we'll do two so that is just going to be the same length as the house just just coming out by two so then you're going to have four spaces from the front of your house but yeah that's just going to be like the porch um, just because it is up on foundation. And then if we hop up, we're going to go ahead and start on the upstairs. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and outline this. Actually. I'm like thinking while I'm doing this for you guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually extend this out. So I'm going to come to the back of the house here. And I'm going to take the bulldozer tool and get rid of these two walls here. And then I'm going to add in an extra foundation square. Just because I think that's what's going to make the most sense for the upstairs. 
okay, yeah, that's definitely going to make more sense. Okay, so I'm going to draw another wall just across. So that should be one, two, three, four, that's six. And then, okay, I'm just going to zoom out because then I can go across here by 13. And then I'm just going to cut that across by 13 as well and then cut that across. And then there's another little upstairs bit. I'm just kind of doing this trying to make sense in my own mind. So I come across by, I think we'll do four. And that is connected to the other wall as well. And then you can come down by seven, I think is what we're going to do. And then just cut it straight across to meet the house. Just like that. It's going to look really weird. Um, I do know that. And then I'm just going to delete these walls out. Because we're not doing the floor plan quite yet. But yeah, so that's what we're going to end up doing right now. And then I'm going to go into floors and ceilings. I'm going to take this simple flooring and just cover the roofing part. Just because it makes more sense to me. Because then you're not seeing down through to the bottom. And this is just something that I like to do. Um, I just think it makes more sense. So yeah, that is that part. And then I am going to take a different flooring and just do that for the upstairs, just for where our roofs are going to go. And then I'm going to take the gable roof, just the normal one, and drag it across like here. And then I'm going to use the same roof here and just bring it back until it flips, just like that. So that is a 7x7 seven seven for that roof. And then a 6 by 13 for the first one. And then I'm going to bring down the pitch so that it's blending in with the other roof. Just so you see how there's like that little thing. I'm just going to bring it down so that it's hidden. There we go. But it, you guys can play with it however you want. But this is just how I do mine. And then... I, actually, I kind of like that. And then I think I'm going to take the... Hip to roof, is it? Is this the one I want? I don't think so. I'm like having really weird glitches right now, you guys. I don't know what's going on. Um. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have like a bit of a glitch. I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, and I don't think... Maybe if I bring this down... Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do the garage. So you can go and hit uh, Control shift c and type in Testing Cheats Enable True. I will have that in the, all the cheats in the description. And then just delete the foundation out. And then you're going to go back into your cheats and type in Constrain Floor Elevation False. Again, I will have all the cheats in the description. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trace this out, the entire bottom of the garage. It's going to look really weird, but it will end up working out in the end. And then just drag that across there. Okay, cool. So it's all enclosed in. It looks really weird. This is what it currently looks like. It looks really strange. And then if you go into Terrain Tools and go to Level Terrain... Uh, you can go ahead and just drag it across just like this, and it will level everything out so that it is on the ground. Um, I do like to do this a couple of times just to make sure that it has every single spot. It's just kind of a, I don't know, it's a thing that I do. And then if you take the sledgehammer tool again, you're going to delete this entire bottom row of walls here. And then I typically I'll turn it like over one. And then you're just going to go ahead and retrace the walls again. I messed that one up. Um, as I said, I'm having, like, some glitches tonight. But, okay, so just like that, just like you did the first time, but it's only going to be that front part. And then you're going to come up to your second floor. And then you're going to do the exact same thing. Go into Terrain Tools and then Level Terrain. Uh, this one might take a little while to get just because not all the squares are even. So as you'll see here, I'm going to, like, do it in parts. Um... And there we go. So then it is all leveled out, and your garage is on the floor. You're going to have a few little, like, gaps a little bit. And then there is going to be one spot on the inside here that is, like, not level. So you're going to just go and do the same thing. You're going to level out your terrain and just make it even, just like that. 
So you're gonna have like a few slanted pieces, but nothing all too bad. And then if you go to add in your garage door, which I'm just gonna use like a filler one for right now, I'll just show you guys. So as you can see, it will be placed, but I actually didn't make the garage wide enough. Uh, your garage should be six across. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and go back and delete out all of this. I'm sorry, you guys, I should have probably counted out that out. Um, okay. I'm just going to hit the back arrow a bunch of times, just like that. Okay, just making sure that we're right at the point. So then you're going to go into your cheats if you guys did this too. And you're going to go to constrain floor elevation true. Because if you don't, then it's not going to work properly. And then you're just going to add one more extra row. It should only be eight. I did nine, but just eight. And then you can take the hand tool and extend this out. Just like that. So then it should end up being six across and then eight back. And then just do the exact same thing over again. So you're just gonna delete out your floor, uh, foundation, go to constrain floor elevation false. I'm gonna go ahead and use the loom tool this time just because it's gonna speed up the process. And then I'm just going to go back into terrain tools and level the terrain just like that. And then delete out my bottom wall. Just like this, there we go. And then again, as I said, I turn it over one, so I'm still going to do that. And then just redraw in the walls, just like that. And then we can go ahead and go back into terrain tools, level terrain, and just drag it across. There we go. And then I'm gonna fix that indoor piece again as well. For some reason, I can't use the level terrain more than once. I have to like go exit and do it again. But I'm just going to level that out. There we go. Perfect. And then if you go to put in a garage door, which I'm just going to put in a filler one for right now, just from the base game, you guys can use whichever garage door you want. But there you go. So then it's even and it works properly. And then I'm just going to add this flooring over that part again. There we go. Perfect. And then if we go back to doing the roofing, I'm going to take the, um, I clicked on the wrong roof, I think. No, yeah, I did. Okay. So you're going to take the hipped roof and just drag it across. It's an 8 by 8 And as you can see, it is attached to the house. You guys can play around with this however you want it. I'm just going to probably bring it down. I don't really want it to extend a whole lot. And then you can just go ahead and use the same roof here. And I'm going to do it as a 2 by 6 Just because then it looks like it connects. And then just flatten it out. Just like that. So that is our current roofing situation. It's not all too pretty. But it's really not too bad. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a roof over the porch or not. So our roofing could end up changing. Depending on what I decide I want to do. But... Actually, I think if I do, I'm going to play around with that and see just before I wrap up this part because I don't want to make this part too long since this is like the more difficult part as it has the um, garage in it. But I'm just going to take these base game columns here, just place down, by the looks of it, I'm going to need three. So I'm going to place down three of those. And then I'm just going to take the eyedropper tool and just fill out where I'm going to graph out this roofing. So I'm probably going to do it like that. I might have made that too big. Okay, I didn't do something right here, you guys. Um... Yeah, definitely. Okay, I made it one square too big. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that front row. This one here. It should only be two. That looks better. Okay. And then just take that hipped roof and just go over top of it and drag it back. And it should meet up with the house. So by the looks of it, it's an 8 by 7 But there we go. That looks a lot better. And then you can go ahead and just fool around with it. Drag it down so that it makes it look like it matches with the back of the roof. 
and then it's not taking up a whole lot of space. It is going to come over onto the side, but that's okay. But it doesn't look too bad. You guys can see another work in progress in the background. But, um... And then I'm just going to delete out these columns just because they're not the ones that I want to use. But I am probably going to go in and use them at some point. But yeah, so this is our house as of right now, you guys. We have the outside built. We have the garage done and the roofing done. And it doesn't look all too bad. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm willing to help because I know that building isn't something that is very easy to do. But uh, yeah, so this is our house as of right now. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and that it was helpful on how to do the garage and everything like that. Um, it's a very simple house that we're going to be doing. I will link the floor plan down below as long with the cheats that we used. Um, and we didn't use any custom content in this part. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this and I will see you guys all in my very next video. Okay, bye guys!